less than a week since his death, the family of a 28-year-old Division of Forestry worker, Cody Mullins, has received what they call an overwhelming amount of support from first responders and in some cases total strangers. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue is live at the Summersville Armory with a funeral and procession wrapped up just a short time ago. Hey Tim, good evening. It's been no doubt an emotional time for the family and loved ones of 28 year old Cody Mullins telling me earlier today that none of this for that first responders do is done for the glory and hoping people walk away with that message. As mourners from all different agencies spent Wednesday paying their respects to Mullins, his Aunt Gail reflected on his passion for saving lives and teaching others about fire safety. She says she could see the ideal first responder and outdoorsman in Mullins as he gave a helping hand to everyone in need, adding he would frequently help put out fires to areas he didn't normally respond to, all in an effort to keep people safe. He deserves everything that he's getting right now. I think he's being honored in a really wonderful way. Um, he did wonderful things, and I'm grateful that everyone is showing the public what, what it meant to be like him and do, these, do this job. Now, Mullins leaves behind his long-term partner and their young daughter. A GoFundMe has been set up to help plant trees in Cody's honor, and we have those details on our website and in the WSAZ app. Tim. Okay, thanks, Kimberly. Um, taking a look at some of the other tributes, as we've said, they've just been uh, really just some uh, a sign of uh, comfort for the family. After the service, supporters lined those streets to pay their respects to Mullins after he was taken to his final resting place. He will be buried at the West Virginia Memorial Gardens, by the way, in Calvin, West Virginia. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice ordered flags to be flown at half staff in honor of Cody Mullins. Justice says all flags at the Capitol Complex and in Fayette County will remain that way until dusk in commemoration of Mullins' distinguished life and service.